Yeah. Groovy mode, none of this is scripted life a movie role. Play my part, show them even through the bloopers you could grow. Find my reason, fly shit, I be dressing like some solid season. I keep it solid every morning, every noon, and every evening, yeah. It might just make you so uncomfortable If you out here fibbing, being fake, no, I'm not one of you I'm trying to take this higher from the bottom, nah, I'm one of you Wonder who gon' recognize my worth, this grind been wonderful It was only cheese between my wonder bread I wondered where the bread was, trying to get my family stomach fed Gotta keep my head up, I know my day gon' come I know them days get brighter if you work, the shade gon' come But prove them wrong What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Talking Ish with Chris, back on this thing. I got a notification from CNN that Will Smith got banned 10 years. Like, come on, Academy Awards, Oscars. That is just too freaking long. Like, 10 years, he slapped him. He didn't beat him up and cuss everybody out and knock over some drinks. He slapped him and sat back at his seat and told him, keep your wife, keep my wife. And everybody on, this is what I really think. That slap really wasn't for necessary Chris rock i think that slap was for the people behind the scenes of the academy awards and how they've been letting him get railroaded over in a lot of ways i think it was slapped (laughs) that was a slap for everybody that approved this corny ass joke and bad taste of a joke I think I think sometimes well, that's what that clip, that slap was for. But let me say this. At the end of the day, um, for the black men especially that are listening, this is what happens sometimes when you don't use wisdom and you don't use discernment to realize that in that in that moment is it worth doing all that for what the repercussion or the consequences can be um sometimes we do have to stop in any kind of man but have to stop and think is it worth it in this moment i know we want to protect our women i know we want to protect our children and, and whoever else we love our lovers our men our boyfriends whatever as men but Sometimes you got to really think, okay, if this goes left, (laughs) if this goes left, where could this go? And is it going to be worth it? You know, sometimes you got to, sometimes you got to put an ass whooping on layer way. You know what I mean? Or sometimes you got to, you know, tuck an ass whooping uh, for that you got to give to somebody a little later. Sometimes it's not always smart to just act on right then and there i remember a man that was in jail that had been in jail once told me he said chris be careful with your emotions your emotions will get you put in jail um and that is very well true and the same thing goes for will he should be careful with his emotions because his emotions got him possibly can mess up his bank statements (laughs) and possibly can with what will has gotten you banned from the oscars do i think the punishment fits the crime but do they ever give us a fair punishment if we do wrong as a people they always want to throw the book at us so you know what's new however um i don't think will is phased because what they said at the end of the day was he was banned they didn't say his movies his work so i'm assuming they mean meaning banned you just can't attend but if they do say they do a ban uh ban his movies um or whatever i mean hey at the end of the day will you always still got the NAACP at the end of the day will you still got BET awards at the end of the day you still got the Essence awards you still got Jet and Ebony don't forget your black people cuz your black people never left you so at the end of the day fuck the oscars you know what i mean it, it, whatever you respect it he already said in a statement hey I respect the Oscars and their decision. He said he already decided to quit because you are he already knew what was coming anyways. They was getting ready to let him go anyway. So might as well beat you to the punch, you know. Um, But a lot of times um, this is what can happen when you don't use wisdom and stuff. And same thing for Chris. I think um, 
I feel bad for Chris. You know, he got slapped. He, I think he did. He definitely showed great professionalism. But I think it was more than just professionalism. I just think as black people, I think he already knew that if I hit this nigga back on stage, it's not going to even be that Will started it. It's going to be two. It's going to snowball into two niggas fighting, two black men fighting on stage at these white people event. Let's just call it what it is. It ain't. They try to say it's multicultural and all that. Fuck that. This is a white person event. So at the end of the day. Chris Rock knew not to hit this man back. It just, and also the things, once again, had Chris Rock had wisdom. He might not have wisdom and discernment if he did this joke on his own or whatever, but he had, when he got slapped, he had enough wisdom and discernment to know that this wouldn't be worth going back and trying to uh, slap Will just to show that I'm no punk. Sometimes we got to stop performing for the rest of the world or what everybody else thinks. Sometimes you got to do what's smart because at the end of the day, who's going to do the time for the crime? Not the rest of the world. It's going to be the motherfucker who did it. So just let this be a lesson sometimes to everybody, any race, any color, any gender. Sometimes it's smart to stop and think and don't let your emotions get you put in jail or get caught up in, up in stuff. Sometimes it's better just to walk away. Not too long ago, I wanted to drag somebody all up and roll up and through the store. But is that worth me going to jail? Someone also told me, if you're going to go to jail, make sure it's worth it. And that wasn't going to be worth it just because, yes, what they're doing is messed up. But I'm not going to get you like that. I'll find another clever way to get your ass. But all in all, I think Will Smith will be okay. I don't think this is going to hurt his career. I don't think that this... um, if anything, it's going to make people want to tune in more to him. I feel like, fuck the Oscars, because you know what's going to happen? Will Smith is going to make a movie that it's going to be so big and make so much money and grow so much attention that they're going to have to lift that 10-year ban off. That's why daddy ain't scared, he ain't tripping, because at the end of the day, Will Smith has consistently, I believe Vivica Fox said this, and I did read this somewhere, that Will Smith has consistently made a 100- hundred million box office tickets if not more in a lot of of his movies bad boys 4 is on the way and already in the works of filming that's a big franchise we not about to stop that because of will slap somebody that's gonna be made and i wish they would try to replace will and bad boys i don't even want to see the movie no more if they do that so and other movies that he got on in the works so he will be okay but other than that y'all know what channel it is talking ish with chris we just on here talking some shit Comment in the episode, hit me in the Instagrams and stuff, let me know what you think. Don't just be listening to me and then don't say nothing. Let me know what you think. I need to hear my audience. Y'all say y'all my audience, be my audience. Make sure you subscribe and follow whatever you're listening to me on, whatever podcast, follow it so that way you get updates every time I drop an episode. Until next time, y'all, peace out. Yeah. Groovy mode, none of this is scripted life a movie role. Play my part, show them even through the bloopers, you could grow. Find my reason, fly shit, I be dressing like some solid season. I keep it solid, eh? Morning, eh? Noon and eh? Evening, yeah.